Hi there. Let's talk about the big problem we have with the houses in Nairobi city. Guys, in this video I want to discuss with you five big problems or challenges that people in Nairobi are facing when it comes to them renting houses. Is there any challenge you are experiencing? Assuming you are a tenant in Nairobi, you have rented a house in Nairobi, is there any challenge you are experiencing? If there is, comment down below. What challenge are you experiencing? Comment down below for you to see if I'll actually discuss that challenge in this video too. And also you'll still add it in case you are new here and you love videos around real estate, making money, business ideas, and also showing you different parts of this country, kindly consider subscribing to this channel. Down there there is a button called subscribe. Click on it, subscribe, join the family for you to be catching up on such awesome videos regularly. Having said that, over years, the population of Nairobi city has been increasing and increasing. And I'm saying so because right about now, we are talking about roughly upwards of 5 million people living in this beautiful city. Of course, the population has continued to increase and increase over years. Rightfully so, because Nairobi is deemed as the city of opportunities, the place with very many opportunities in Kenya. And actually, that's a fact. Reason being, many companies are located here in Nairobi, okay? Many businesses are located here in Nairobi. Many multinationals are located here in Nairobi compared to any other place in Kenya. And with that, that's the reason as to why many people are coming to the city to look for opportunities. And also, as people are coming to the city to look for opportunities, that tells you also the demand for houses is continuing to increase and increase. People need a place where they call home, whether it is rental or even a place they own. That's why people are coming to the city to look for job opportunities. When they find these job opportunities, they also require a place they're going to call home. Guys, you could think, for example, everything is rosy. It isn't always the case. Reason being, this rental houses in the city have their own challenges and by the way this challenge is not just exclusive to nairobi alone different parts of the country in kenya have the same challenge and even so also different cities out there in the world have these kind of challenges having said that the very first challenge which a good number of people in nairobi face is a challenge with regards to water why is that the case water in nairobi is most of the times rationalized. And that's so because regardless of living where in Nairobi, whether it's for example in Eastlands, Ebakasi area, Kayole area, or even so the other side of the city, like for example, Langata, you name it. Guys, water is most of the times a challenge. And that's so because Nairobi also relies on water to come from different parts of the country. And even beyond that, also the city water authority needs to think about how water can actually be utilized in a most ideal way. That's why, more so during dry seasons, there is a challenge with regards to water because there is water rationing, more so in a good number of the city parts. Water is rationed by the city council or the water company in the city to just try and assist, ensure all the residents out there have some form of water, even if there's some form of water sharing through rationing. That is the first challenge which a good number of tenants in the city face. And then the second challenge, which also a good number of people in the city face, more so those who are renting apartments, flats, you name it, also have a challenge with regards to parking. And I'm saying so because, yes, a good number of people in the city have bought personal vehicles. They have their own personal cars, which is a good means of transport for them to in the city. But beyond that, they are actually having a challenge with regards to parking. And I'm saying so because a good number of apartments out there or flats didn't envision people in that particular building owning cars. Take, take an example, for example, just go somewhere, for example, like Buruburu. You're going to see a good number of people out there parking their vehicles outside the apartments. Reason being, the buildings weren't built with the design of also having parking lots within the building. And that's rightfully so because also, guys, building apartments out here have their own costs. You won't spend much on, for example, ensuring the ground floor, basement, first level is parking. And yet you are also thinking about return on investment. 
That's why a good number of buildings out there ignored intentionally or even forgot to put parking lots for its tenants. And then the third challenge a good number of people in the city are facing is they don't have control over noise with regards to their neighborhood. And I'm saying so because, take an example right now, guys, I'm recording. I'm somewhere on an apartment. This side you can hear there is a noise. It's because there is a power saw which is actually cutting down trees. Believe it or not, down here, guys, I have trees, okay? There is trees this side. Guys, right about now, there is a power saw which is actually cutting trees. And with that, already tells you there is noise pollution. That's why I'm saying you won't have control over noise levels in your neighborhood. Just an example I've given you. Even beyond that, you could find, for example, a neighbor who is playing music loudly. Of course, most of the time it's just a matter of courtesy. Them understanding also they aren't living alone. But we also have neighbors who don't understand this. And in fact, they continue playing loud music. Also in some scenarios, you can't have control over this. Because they have their tenancy, you have your own tenancy. But I think in the spirit of good living, we all need to also consider our neighbors more so in the city. Guys, do you have a neighbor who constantly plays loud music where you live? If you have, comment down below. Because guys, I'm pretty sure this is a challenge almost all of us have faced. And then, the fourth challenge, which a good number of actual tenants in Nairobi City experience, is a challenge with regards to their being no clarity around zoning. What do I mean? Guys, in most countries out here, more so those countries which have proper systems, there is something called zoning. Of course, in Kenya, there is some form of zoning, but also as a country, we have a challenge in that to some extent, some zoning requirements aren't really honored. You find, for example, go to some places in the city, like for example, go to Karibangi South, go to, for example, Mathare, whichever places in the city. You can see even there is many factories out there within apartment units. Someone is in an apartment and actually they are making some foodstuffs within the apartment. Someone is in an apartment and also they're trying to manufacture something. That's how insane it is. Or even so, you find in a given area, you are marked as residential, you find an industry there. Sometimes this is kind of mind-boggling because you're talking about there being noise pollution and also air pollution in such contexts. And then guys, the fifth and last challenge a good number of tenants in Nairobi experience, and I'm pretty sure if you've moved houses, you also experienced that, is that it's actually quite costly for someone to get into a house. And even so, it is also quite a challenge for them to live with regards to their deposit money. What do I mean? Most of the times, and also depending on where you are, chances are you're going to pay one or two months in advance for rent in form of deposit before you get into a given house. And of course, when you are living, a good chunk of your deposit is also going to be used to repair anything which is broken in a particular house. A good number of students out there have actually had even their grievances on social media talking about how they are having a challenge, for example, getting back their deposit. I know this isn't a uniform blanket to all the landlords out there. Most of them are good, but also there are others who actually frustrate their tenants so as not to live with regards to them returning their deposit money. And beyond that, a good number of people in the city, most of those beginning work for the first time, have a challenge around getting the necessary deposit and all the requirements for them to be able to get tenancy in the houses in the city. What do you think? Is there another challenge I've forgotten? If there is, drop a thought down below in the comment section. Comment there. Let's continue discussing. Cheers, guys. I look forward to sharing with you other awesome videos next time. Bye-bye, and you all take care.